Tia here with Mastering Pop, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Alert so you can track your brand's mention, and maybe even your competitors. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Alerts so you can be notified of your brand's mention online. But before I do this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I upload videos on digital marketing and SEO that will help you to scale your store faster. Also, if you're interested in learning how to increase your store's conversion rate, average order value, and you're ready to start getting repeat customers, I have a free ebook available for download titled The No Fail Get More Repeat Customer System. You can find the link for this ebook in the description below. So I wanted to talk about Google Alerts because uh, I use them a lot, believe it or not, for my brand. And when I was, uh, when I had a bunch of different clients, I would use them for my clients as well. So, you know, a, a major aspect of being a, a consultant is being the eyes and ears for my, for my clients. Um, a lot of my clients in the past leaned on me to be an extension of their team. So it was my responsibility to go, go to them with news about their competitors or industry and how it could impact or influence our strategy. Sorry, windows open. So Google Alert sends an email to your inbox with um, a list of relevant articles or even mentions of any subject you are interested in. So uh, you get to select what that interest is and it should be your brand for starters, right? Um, so I'm gonna set one up really quick for you. All you do is of course go to Google, type in Google Alert, right? Um, this is it right here. Uh, so if I wanted to set up an alert for mastering pop, which is this, uh, I would say if I want to see articles or anything related to mastering pop, and I would put it in quotes because I would want to find that exact phrase. And yes, at times you will, especially with me with mastering pop, I may stumble upon or get a Google alert with something that's not even related to my business, right? Because here's one, for example, right? The key to understanding mastering pop music is finding out how to achieve having easily perceivable instrument. You get what I'm, you get where I'm going. But if you want to find the exact phrase, you're going to put it in quotes, okay? Uh, and then you can say if you want to see it once a day. I always say as it happens, uh, automatic, right? So, you could select news, blogs, web, and I always select automatic, right? So, um, of course, in English, any region, not only the best results, I want all results. And I want it delivered to help it mastering pop. So I would hit create alert. And this is the alert right here. The next thing I would do is set one up for my URL. The different variations of my URL too. So masteringpop.com. If, if this URL is published anywhere, uh, I want to know about it, right? And I'm going to do different variations, so this won't be one. As it happens, all results, create alert. And I would also do HTTPS masteringpop.com. And I might want to even do it for my name. Even though my name is extremely popular, I might put in uh, Tia Jones and maybe digital marketing. And I'll also do one for SEO. So as it happens, best results. So I'll do Tia Jones SEO. Right? See, this is the things that pop up when you type that in. So as it happens. All right, so that's exactly how you set it up. So now you can keep an eye on your brand, right? And you can do the same thing for your competitors or business partners, um, like retailers or distributors. Uh, using Google Alerts, you can determine, you know, well, that's an agency part of me thinking, but you can determine, like for me, my clients, if we're focusing on PR or outreach, um, uh, it, or if they're working with any third-party content creators uh, or bloggers, um, are we landing thought leadership type stories in the industry? 
right? Or are my competitors landing it in industry magazines, trade magazines? Do they work with affiliate partners? You know, be, beyond analyzing uh, your competitors' strategy, you can also look for opportunities to, uh, to for business, you know, uh, for yourself, potential partners. I mean, there's so many things you can do with uh, Google Alerts when you set them up, depending on what you set up. But I wanted to show you guys how to do that. It's very easy. So I have it set up for Flower Power Packages already. So as you can see, I received Google Alerts for Flower Power Packages. You can see some are in quotes, some are without quotes. So let's just check one out. So this is for a collection that I actually just recently created for Hemper products. So this is all Hemper. All right, uh, let's see. So let's go to one with quotes. Oops. Boom. Wax made, another collection page. All right. Uh, so as you can see, I get Google alerts, I would say enough, um, not too much. I mean, the more Google alerts you get, the better. Why? Because that means a page of yours is is indexed or you're being talked about, right? So the more the better. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, what I have set up for Flower Power Packages. I have different variations uh, set up um, for Flower Power Packages. Let me see. Can I actually go to the alerts? Let's see. I can. So this is for this specific alert. Um, again, you can do as it happens, automatic, any region. You want all, all results. And I have it coming to my Gmail. Uh, so again, setting up Google Alerts is really important. Uh, why? Because you can keep track of what people are saying about you or even your competitors or whoever you want. <laughs> That's how the Kardashians do it. That is how the Kardashians do it. Again, just wanted to show you uh, Google Alerts. And again, it doesn't just have to be your brand. You could be focused on another, uh, your competitors and you could put their names in as well, their URLs as well. Even the terms that you're focusing on, right? I'm focusing on uh, marijuana packaging for mine. Maybe I'll do set up a Google alert for marijuana packaging or cannabis packaging uh, to see, hey, maybe I can stay on top of new people coming into the industry, right? Because uh, that's what you really want to rank for if you're selling cannabis packaging. You want to rank for cannabis packaging. So let me know if you guys have any questions below. Uh, don't forget, uh, if you want to learn how to get repeat customers, if you want to learn how to increase your average order value, if you want to learn how to increase your conversion rate and increase the number of your the second purchases on your website, I have a free ebook again titled "The No Fail Get More Repeat Customer System." You can find that at masteringpop.com/forward/slash/repeat-customers. Thanks for watching. All right, that's it. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions.